Hello, today we'll talk about how to update Jira issues via CSP. So if you have the CSP, it's fine. If not, then uh, I, for, for example, I can show. So this is a project and you can say ordered by updated I have selected. And here what I want to change, I want to change the reporter. Okay, so if I want to change one by one, it will take time. Okay, so I don't want to change one by one. In a one CSV, I want to change it. So 93 issues, I don't want to open all one 93 issues, uh, issues one by one and go to the reporter field and change it. These are the inactive reporters, so I want to change it. Okay, not only this one, so there are a number of uh, uh, fields are available. If you want to change, you can change it. But before proceeding, you should be having the admin permission, then only you can update it. Because there is two way to update uh, or uh, change uh, CSP. So one is like for normal user, with the help of that, you can create a new issues. You cannot modify it. Okay, for the modification, you need Jira admin permissions. Okay, so let's uh, do it. How to do? Okay, so. I don't want updated fields. What are the fields are important for updating any issues? So first is uh, Jira key. Okay, Jira issue key is uh, important one. It should be there because with the help, this is a primary key. With the help of this only you can uh, you are going to change uh, your uh, you can you are going to modify your issue. Second will is summary is mandatory field. Okay, third whichever field you want to change that is um, modified it that is required. So updated is not required so I'm removing it and let's export only current field okay why why we are having multiple fields? there is no use of it so I have uh, created it so uh, I am using the Mac one so if I will open this one it will open in the number field as you can see it so let me copy this one and go to Excel blank workbook Control V and here you can see I have all the reporters and all the summary etc. All 93 issues are available over here. So just go down. So these are the 93 issues are available. Come here, issue ID is not required. So you can remove this one if you want. So let's remove it now. Control F or you can use this one replace okay what you want to replace i want to replace s a r s sara dot h o w a r t this user with abc user i do have abc user okay how i can change uh, check it you need to go your user management let's see if i do have or not and that should be active user this is the active user and Ansu is a also you know, a uh, active user so let's change it let's go to excel again and uh, this user this control f and Ansu replace all so I have done the changes as you can see some are the answers and some are the ABC user. So let's just uh, save it. Save as not Excel. It should be CSP file. So CSP file where and update issues by a CSV. Okay under documents is there or let's have uh, in desktop save it now come to your Jira where you have to go you have to go to system and how to go system click on this cog button and click on system here can search for external system import and select CSP select your CSP so where it was it's this one updated issues by CSP okay click on next which project it is it is STA project so you need to select STA project click on next issue key so issue key only 
click on my field reporter should be reporter and summary should be summary because as you can see here it was showing the problem click on next sta1 with sta1 because it's updating one so you can check it all 93 issues will show over here these are the summary which should be the same okay and these are the reporters are going to change Jira SME will be Jira SME ABC to ABC these are the changes I want okay being import so once you will start importing you can see uh, some problems it will show leave them inactive because there are some inactive users so let them inactive only so click on next you can see one project and zero because some of the users are available which are no reply so uh, it, it will give the warnings and you can download your detail log also so like this you can download it and you can see how many issues got uh, changes 34 issues got imported etc these are 550 uh, 50 issues got imported so these are the details you can see it come here and click on search you can see abc user i can say i can see himansu kumar user so these are the changes just now happened so with the help of uh, this thing i have updated all these issues so like this you can do that so where it required so just example in the watcher field uh, there are four to five uh, users are available in those four to five users so uh, two users left the company those are the inactive users so, and uh, you have n number of changes uh, like just uh, 200 300 issues are there and you want to change it you want to modify it how you can do with the help of csp easily you can do so like this you can update you can modify issues by a csp in jira thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel